And of course, on the other side, Myron is starting to become a household name in this, yeah. uh, you know, competitive game. His that all Mar has been run at cross -base. Uh, really great stuff for Myron, even beating uh, Shusan in the Ditto and that amazing Richter, uh, <laughs> amazing Richter match we have. I believe he got fourth at that tournament. I'm not sure, fourth or fifth. But uh, yeah, I think so it's fourth place. One of uh, the highest placements at like a eight tier tournament. Nothing to scoff at. And Almar is just so strong in this game in general. So I'm really wondering how Force is going to approach this matchup. Especially playing a zoning character like uh, Samus. Yeah, it'll be interesting. And, you know, it's that's kind of a tough situation because I think Almar is probably going to be able to outcamp Samus in this. Yeah. Uh, so it's going to force Force to play this really, I guess, weird mid range game that maybe Samus is not as comfortable playing again, you know, playing overall. So let's see what kind of game plan adjustments he makes compared to what he's normally used to. And he's got to make it count because Myron is definitely a top tier Olimar player. No doubt about that. Yeah, actually, now I think about it, this tournament has the three best Olimars. Shoots on the buzz and uh, <laughs> Myron right here. I'm sure the crowd loves that on the yeah. uh, on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we might even we might have some Olimar dittos uh, later on for you guys. Uh, that's where the intricacies, <laughs> intricacies come into play. The Pikmin line and all the fun things that, you know, no one really uh, is able to pay attention to. The Almar players just see something in Smash that we'll never understand. Yeah. Pikmin management aspect of the character I, I still find super interesting just because you always have to change up how you uh, approach the match depending on what lineup you have. Three, very interesting. Two, but one, game one go. on PS2, Force versus Byron. And you're right, going straight to that Samus. So, you know, trying to feel the moment. It's Prime Saga, give the crowd what they want. And so far, it's, you know, pretty slow start. It's what we expected. Both players just feeling each other out, trying to get the wall going. I think what'll be interesting to come into play is on the projectiles, which ones get eaten by Pikmin and which ones make it through. And then on the other side of that, of course, Almar being such a small character, trying to contend with that side of it as well. I'm curious if Charge Shot counts as an electrical property. So uh, if, it, if it does, then the yellow Pikmin actually will stop that as well. Yeah, I think we'll kind of know if uh, Myron ends up with uh, a thousand yellow Pikmin. Yeah. Or on the other side of that, it might be, you know, more the crux of uh, responsibility on Myron to just kind of make sure he gets rid of those yellows. Big purple on Smash. Okay, nice. Gets the background stage. See if he catches this recovery. Great. Forward air, keeping him in disadvantage. Goes a little bit high. Oh, right to the ledge. Myron. Just drifting in and out on that upbeat. No checks. He said, though, with nice screw attack. Got him right off of him and actually killed at 94%. Yeah. I did not know that move could kill that early without, like, an up air to the top of the screen. I've been forced in. He did that with full courage because if he whipped that, Ooh. you know, Myron had a purple online and we're dead even here coming into the second stocks for both players. And they're trying, you know, he's already got the forward smash online. Here we go, the combos. And Almar does 45 damage faster yeah. than anybody in the game. <laughs> So quick, up smash, up smash, <laughs> any aerial. Have fun being at a halfway in death percent. Yeah, it's, it's not even just the up smash, and that one is just a down throw, uh, uh, no, forward smash, a grab, a down throw, and a uh, forward air afterwards. Oh, oh, did he DI on stage? That was yeah. A good. Yeah, DI'd in on stage and also got the, the roll in, so the yeah. attack. But a, a ballsy option coming out from, uh, you know, from Force. Yeah, doing his. Right. Oh, sorry, Myron's, oh, man, Myron's going to get a shield break with the purple. Oh, yikes. Yeah, he took yeah, a second there to farm his Pikmin and pull out a blue first before the purple th smash came out. Yeah, that was really good from Myron. Honestly, it's so hard to get around a smash on shield. When he hits your shield once, you just want to get out of there because if you try to do something or hold shield too long, it's just such easy shield break. Ah, uh, of course, maybe kicking himself a little bit. That's been his opportunity to get some mileage in in the matchup. As soon as Almar's off, uh, off stage, he's been going aggressive in the edge guard. Probably knows that's, that's his moment to capitalize. Okay, screw attack not gonna kill there. Does again force him off stage with a slight charge. Not gonna get the snipe he's looking for though. Oh, goes way too hard on that edge guard. Puts himself in a really bad spot. Perfect position to get forward smash. Yeah, hit him with that 2008 though. Landing yeah. there to forward smash. Spinning thing, the smash attack. Almar points uh, yellow stick at the yeah. bad guy and uh, <laughs> takes the game. Yeah, still a really good setup in this game. And something I guess to rely on too, just because when he's landing, all he can really do is whistle, air dodge, 
and uh, throw out that Nair, and he's, I don't know, all those are really punishable. But if you have a really good mix-up and like kind of just go behind their shield with like a landing Nair, you can get some uh, hit confirms from that. But, Myron, again the first game. Honestly, Boris was looking really strong. Just a few little slight mess-ups that put him in bad spots cost him that. Yeah, and no, I agree. It was, you know, playing pretty even. Even uh, in the advantage as soon as he got Myron off stage, which, you know, you kind of expect from the matchup. But he's doing a good job right now, taking a second, considering his options, not letting the moment get to him. Because I think he feels like he has a shot of taking this if he just focuses and locks down and fix some of those critical mistakes. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. He's looking really strong with the Samus here. And, uh, you know, again, Samus is just not a very um, common character in the first place. So he has a lot of ways that he can potentially catch Myron off guard. But the Super Comic is here, Smashville. Good old Smashville. Picking a little bit of a smaller stage? Yeah, yeah that makes sense, I guess. Uh, that's a rare time you'll see uh, a Samus pick a smaller stage, right? <laughs> It's an Omar that can uh, outrange them by and large, so. I might just want to say, since you know he's fighting against his owner as well, giving them less space to throw things right. at him will make it easier for him to approach. We'll see, though, how he uh, plans to take the second game here. Yeah, as soon as, uh, for the as soon as I saw Smashville come out, it, it signaled to me, Force wants to go in. You see him already being aggressive with a down air to an special, so. He has a clear game plan, let's play aggressive, but Myron's not letting him have any of it. Just picking all the options and doing everything he can and uh, not letting, oh. oh my God. Yeah, not letting Force get the wheels turned in. Dude, his, his ability to pressure your still so heavily with smashes is, oh my goodness, so good. But the down air timing, I think he got it right when he ran out of invincibility on the ledge with the yellow. Yeah, so unexpected for me. I didn't think that would hit. I was surprised. Yeah, Myron just immediately firing back. So, so powerful right here. Yeah, and he's already running away with this game so far. And I don't know if it's just a matter of Myron's kind of got the Samus matchup downloaded, or if, you know, the game plan for coming out from Boris to play more aggressive was probably not the way that he wanted to go. Yeah, some of the moves that he's using to, like, go in with aerials are just a little bit slow, and it lets um, Myron react to them way easier than, say, if he was using a character like Wolf. Yeah, again, we're talking about fear, greed, and ignorance. Uh, it might be a little bit on the side of greed coming out from Force, and, but he does get that up special and takes the stock, so, yeah. you know, he's not completely out of it. Got a lot of percentage to make up, but he's on the same stock overall. Oh, nice movement there with the wavelengths, but Alomar doesn't care about your wavelengths. <laughs> he's just going to hit the C-stick up. Yeah, how do you fight that? You're trying to, you're looking all slippery, <laughs> not getting hit by anything, and then Alomar's like, up smash, up smash. <laughs> takes the stock. I wonder if that even shield poked. <laughs> I don't think yeah. he was holding shield. Yeah, you're more likely to shield poke if you're like right under their shield too. Alright, Myron here with a nice combo. Has a great line as well. Gets the downer to get some pressure here. Force fighting back to the center stage. Alright, he's gonna go low. No, not gonna go for the downer. Uh, that no hitbox on an Olimar's FB is one of the more vulnerable ways to edge guard him. But Boris not able to do it, but speaking of down airs, Myron gets another spike, calling out that double jump from the ledge. Really common option for Samus in the first place to get off of the ledge, but uh, Myron just scouted out really well both times. Yeah, definitely unfortunate for uh, Boris. You know, it started like game one, he kind of had a shot at it, but the download strength of Myron, too strong. Yeah, very strong. Now it's like they're talking about how the match went, really just saying, yeah, this is what I did. This is what you can work on. But uh, definitely uh, no slouch sports. Like, really strong Samus player. Just, yeah, kind of like how we were saying, like, Almar has way better zoning tools than Samus. So when she's trying to get her charge shot or her missiles out, she's already taking tick damage from, like, the yeah. Pikmin throws. And adds to the fact that they also block the projectiles as well. I feel like... Uh, Myron maybe has to adjust a few things about Samus, but for the most part, he can still play his uh, normal Alomar game. It just seems to like naturally work really well against Samus. Right, and on the flip side of that, as we were saying, it looked like Samus had to play that awkward mid-range game that she's probably not super designed for. And it put a lot of you know responsibility and a lot of pressure on Boris to go through and make plays and really outplay Myron. And unfortunately, it didn't work out the way he wanted, especially that second game. You could tell he was trying to outplay him. He was going really aggressive, and that seemed to be his game plan going into it. But sometimes, you know, the best late plans don't always work out. So, uh, not 
already not looking too great for the, our, our Metroid representatives here on the, uh, <laughs> on the, the curse stream. continues. But we still have tons of uh, Metroid characters back left in the winner's bracket. Hopefully we get to see some more on stream. 